Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. I'll tell you what, we've got another exciting show. We're gonna be heading up to the Turtle Flambeau and hooking up with our good friend Dave Brown from Bait Rigs Products. Hey, I'll tell you what, they've got some really unique products when it comes to musky fishing, and we're gonna have the opportunity to try to put some of these to work. Hey, Dave really loves to musky fish, and I'll tell you what, I also have a passion for it too, so it's gonna be an exciting two days. So hang on to your hiney. thing I have learned about musky fishing over all the years is that you know the moon phase is absolutely huge what's I mean what do you think about that definitely Larry. you have all the years musky fishing all your times are under moon overfoot uh, underfoot uh, rises and sunsets all the times you got to be hitting them sunrise sunset moon underfoot moon overhead all of them are very, very important. So what it really means is that you want to make sure you're in the best spot during any kind of major or minor moon phase. A lot of times you get a window there, Larry, you're going to get about a half hour to 45 minutes. And that's about the peak time when they start to feed. And why, why it is that they feed at that time, I don't know. But for all the recorded times that big fish have been big caught, fish have been caught, that's always in the area of timing whether it be on the bottom end of it or the top end of it, you know, so. So basically a lot of times when you're musky fishing, like right now there's, we're not in any moon phase, what you're really kind of doing is pre-fishing, what you say, like you're looking to get fouls and you're looking at the structure, like, you know, you, like now we're, you haven't been here in a while, so now we're looking at every time we see a clump of cabbage, we kind of mark that clump of cabbage because later on, when we get into these moon phases, these are the spots we definitely want to be on. And if we start raising fish, and obviously if we see a big fish, we're gonna come back during the best time and try to catch that fish. Definitely, uh, with exploration's a big thing, Larry. Knowing the piece of structure that you're fishing is super key. Go in, drive it first. That's really important. Go in, drive it first and mark it out and know the spot really well because if you know the spot well, you're gonna know where they're gonna come off of, and that's important. It kind of reminds me of this, Dave. It kind, kind of reminds me of, I'm a huge bow hunter, a deer hunter in general. It reminds me of, you wanna know where that big buck is coming out of, because you don't really wanna go in there and disturb them and kick them out of there. You wanna kind of sit to the outside edge and know exactly what you just said, know exactly where that fish, when it's that time, is gonna be moving up into or moving out of, so you can target that. They're, they're big predators themselves. Right. Bucks are going to use the wind and so do fish. I mean, a lot of times when you see wind blowing into a spot, they're going to set up with stuff blowing into them. That's kind of a real key thing for muskies. They like to lay facing into that wind and anything that the wind is blowing in is going to come right into them. They're predators and it's, it's an easy target. Yeah, let's move on to the next spot. Hey, you guys, hang on to your heinies. It was a pig, huh? Yeah, what? No. God, I can't believe I didn't see it. And I just put these make a huge difference, like a huge difference. You know, the big thing about musky fishing for sure is that there is definitely a lot of downtime in between bites. So you definitely want to bring lots of snacks. And that's the great part about Leroy Meats is they've got so many different types of snack sticks. It, uh, you never get bored for sure. Hey Dave, you guys got a lot of really interesting things going on over at Bait Rigs and a lot of it's got to do with muskies right now. The muskie scene has been hot and it's growing, Larry. It's a growing sport and uh, we got a whole bunch of products that are gonna help you be a better musky angler. We got uh, the new company that we just picked up and that's whale tail plastics, that's all rubber. And uh, we also got all of our bucktails, Larry. Lots of great bucktails, um, right down from small ones all the way up to big ones and uh, spinner baits, we got it all. Hey Dave, you know, there is a lot of bucktails out on the 
market and spinner baits. What really, what did you guys do to kind of separate yourself from the rest of the products that are out on the market? This last year we came out, it was kind of a unique product. It's the Brute. Okay, that's what you got in your hand right there. That's what I got in my hand. So it's a combination bucktail, which is pretty hot nowadays. A lot of, you've seen a lot of companies coming up with it because it gives off a different vibration and those fish just feel that vibration differently. And So really what's different is you got a Colorado and a Willow Blade on there together, right? Correct, so I got a uh, number eight, uh, the, the small brute is a number eight Willow with a uh, Mag 7 Colorado and then the big large brute is a number 11 uh, Willow with a number eight Magnum Colorado. You know, let's tell everybody too, Dave, about how to get that, that with that Colorado and that Willow together like that, how to get that bait moving. One of the first things that you need to do when you cast that because you've got so much there to get that, especially to get a Willow to start turning right away. Let's show everybody at home how you actually do that. So a lot of times a Willow just, just naturally is a tougher blade to run. So um, a lot of times even, you know, yeah, a lot of guys out there, you'll have a bucktail that You'll catch a bunch of fish on it, Larry, okay. and the thing's just not running right, right? So one of the things you can do with a bucktail, too, that I'd like to show people is they're really easy to tune. A lot of times you can just come in here and, and put a little slight bend in the bucktail really gently, and it'll get that thing right back running good again. That's it, huh? Yep, sometimes you straighten them out and then just give it a little bend, or, and then you'll get her, get her cranking again. Fish! Oh my god, fish! Oh, oh! Dave, that's a, oh, oh! Oh, nice fish, Dave. Nice fish. On the whale tail! Hey, I told you I'd get one today. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh. Woo! -hoo. Woo! You're All right, man. Woo! Woo! -hoo. Woo! What a way to start off today! Woo! On the whale tail. Oh, good job, oh, man. Frickin' A. Whoo. I love musky fish. And you know, the great part is though that the last couple years, all the guiding I've been doing has been more walleye guiding than musky fishing. And I've always said this that when I decide to totally stop guiding, if that day ever comes. I'm just gonna fish muskies. I mean, cause I mean, not that I don't love walleyes, but musky fishing is something about it. It's a blast. I'm yeah. loving it. We gotta stop the camera. Oh. We're gonna get right back at you in a second. All right, <laughs> let's hit spot lock. Is it on spot lock? Uh, no. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> oh, I'll tell you what, Dave, unbelievable. You know, we just got up here this morning and you know, we planned on, you know, Tonight, we're just searching for fish to try to get some follows and then come back tonight and then all day tomorrow because we got a big storm system coming in. So that is always the key to try to find these fish. And so you're kind of in that zone where yet yeah, you're looking behind the bait, looking behind the bait, and all of a sudden, you know, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, in the sky, bright sky, it's 80 degrees out, and oh! That is one nice oh. thing, Larry, you know, when, when you get long, things of stable hot weather yep. starts getting these fish active. So it, it, we knew it was coming, so we planned this. And I'm hoping we hit it just right here. But so, uh, what a good start right here for sure. And a beautiful fish. It's not a giant, but it's definitely a very, very respectable fish. And I'm going to hold her up here. An absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fish. What a beautiful fish, huh, Dave? I just love the colors of these fish and just, I love everything that a muskie stands for. Hard work, no doubt about that for sure. Oh, that is absolutely so cool. Let's get her back in the water and get her swimming again. Oh, what an awesome fish and just waiting for her to, it wasn't too long of a battle, you know, the water temperature is about 75. See when she's ready to go. See you, girl. Yes. She's gonna kick one of these things and be gone. Perfect, just keep staying right on. Darn goal.
Hey everybody, Little Stinker and I hope you love our videos. You know what, if you do love our videos and there's other things that you want to learn and see, let us know. So contact us on our Larry Smith Outdoors YouTube channel and we will try to answer your questions and help you out.